Good evening. I wrap Stan, and here we are with your Metal Market Wrap-Up. And this wrap-up is for Monday, the 27th of February, 2023, 6.30 p.m. Central Time. Well, as you can see, the gold market just hanging here at the 1820s right now. Remember, we were looking, or at least I was looking, for between 1814, uh, let's call it, and the 1810 zone to be some of the support. That was the combination of major moving averages, the 200, the 100 day. You'll see them in a moment. Doesn't mean it has to hold there, but some cycle lows are due in that time. In the copper market, just sitting back here at 401, just recently we were so much higher, you didn't go anywhere there. On the energy market, you got to move over now to the May Brent it goes off the April tomorrow. It sounds crazy. Here we are in February and the April's going off the board, but that's how it works. In the bonds and notes, I still see uh, selling resistance on rallies in those markets. And in the stock market, you had a heck of a gain early in the day and you gave everything up to close with a moderate gain, but nothing is stellar as we saw early on in the morning. So let's go to the chart action and see what's up. But I want to remind you, we're going to have our live webinar. And that webinar is this Thursday. We're already filling up pretty, pretty good at this point. Uh, at 1230 p.m. Central Time, at any point during the broadcast, you can move your cursor to the top here. And when you do, an icon will appear on that icon. Give it a click. That's where you sign up. When you sign up, uh, you'll be getting from us then an email with your user ID and password in that confirmation. There's an area if you want to write questions to me, that's the spot to do it so I can answer everything you've got from that point. It'll certainly help me for the stocks and the spiders, given there's thousands of them. I can handle all the futures. I've got them done. It's very different in stocks and spiders. Okay, in the gold, you can see we were talking when we get back to the 18 day average week after week as we were doing this, starting back here, I kept saying that could be where the market wants to go to tell us the next leg of the market. Now, what's weighing on the gold market? It's very evident it's US interest rates. I mean, you're sitting here right now for all purposes in the neighborhood on very short term money of 5%. Do you really want to own gold when you can get 5% return for taking no risk? I'm talking six month money. You heard me, six month money. That's pretty big for that time frame uh, to see where things are going to go. You know, if, if the government has to keep going higher with rates, that five will go to five and a quarter, five and a half. That weighs against the gold market. Remember that. You've got the pattern of lower highs, lower lows. This is a very well defined downtrend. Here's the support that we were talking about. Now it's at 1812 to 1808. That's the 100 day and the 200. And when you put the Bollinger Bands, it's under it. So everything from 1812 to 1803 loaded with support. Support isn't a reason to buy anything. It might be a reason not to be short, but it's not a reason to buy. And when I look at the slow stochastics, you're still embedded. Until this red line closes over 21, I see no reason to rush out and be a buyer in this market. In fact, if anything, the pros might be selling the hard rallies until that is lost. How's that? In the silver gold, you tell, look what's going on here. You just keep moving out. Silver's getting its butt kicked. That's the only way you can really say it. And so you, you see it right here. Look, at, you're down to the Bollinger Band. You have embedded readings. If you don't understand what an embedded reading is, let me give you the gist of it. It's so important. It's one on a slow stochastic study, the two numbers, they're called a K and a D number. And it's when they lock in, be it over an 80 reading or under a 20 reading, and they do it consecutively for several days or more. That tells you that until the number pops up over 21, at least this is what I teach, that rallies into these resistance points are going to get sold by the pros because the momentum's locked in bearish. You're getting small corrections with an overall bearish posture. When you lose it, it's when the market gets over the 21 and then you start making runs at moving averages. That could be a complete change. You may have bottomed in the market out, works through those resistance and it can keep going to the upside. That is the importance of it. How do you do it? How do you know where to sell it? How do you know how to play it? I teach it all in my enhanced Bollinger Band course on our website under the word education, irapstein.com. When you come to copper, you keep hitting the lower band and you keep bouncing, but there's nothing bullish here. So where's the China 
bid. It's not there at this point. Doesn't mean it's not coming, but it's certainly not here at this point in the market. What about the platinum? Well, you've got a higher high and lower and low. There's no trend to trade off of there. The slow stochastics are oversold working off a condition. And in the palladium, it's the same. So we're going to get this week a lot of PMI numbers, especially manufacturing is coming out this week. We want to keep an eye on all these. They're going to tell us, is anything picking up? We're coming to the end of a month, and that means we get all the normal new month data for the month of February. You want to be watching it. Where are we weakening? What's going on? Today, if you were looking at the Dallas manufacturing numbers, they were not good. They, they had weakened everywhere that you were looking. Durable goods was strong with the exception of transportation. Everything that we saw in the big things, be it the airplanes, the cars, you got to look at those type of things. In the dollar index, nah, you hit a Bollinger Band, you want to back away. Now, for those traders that have been saying, ah, I think this dollar is not going to be able to hold up. If the red line of the slow stochastic that closes under 79, I think price in the 18-day average will make their run at each other. Until that occurs, breaks that occur in the market, you got to keep your eye on them, will be probably bought. But if that number's under 80 at any point, I don't think the pros will be reaching the buy it. They'll wait to see, are you going to lose that momentum? And if you lose the momentum, they're going to want to hit the market and say, ah, we may be to the point where interest rates are so high that they hurt the U.S. economy. It's a two-sided thing. Street, you've got to be ready for. We'll discuss that and so much more in our chart analysis this Thursday, 12.30 p.m. I promise you, we fill. So you want to uh, get to this. How do you do it? At any point at the very top here, there's a cursor. Give it a click. If you're on my mailing list, you were sent the invite. If you haven't ever signed up for anything free from us or you're a subscriber, you're not going to get it. So this is the only way you're going to get that. You can always call my staff if you have a problem at 866-973-2077. Otherwise, sign up. It's free. I'll see you. It's 20 minutes long. Very short. We fly during it. And I do not record it for you to go see it elsewhere. You have a good day.